Hi everyone, Greg from Westside Distribution today, and today I'm wearing my Martin hat. And by hat, I mean t-shirt. So today I'm gonna to tell you about the Martin Modern Deluxe series. So on the face of it, we have here a D28, but it's far from a standard series D28. In fact, it's, it's got a lot of custom shop appointments. We've got a, a VTS Sitka Spruce top, We've got VTS uh, added Rondac braces. We've got maple binding. We've got liquid metal bridge pins. We've got a Adirondack sandwich bridge plate. So the Adirondack is sandwiched between carbon fiber. So it's carbon fiber, Adirondack, carbon fiber. And as we go to the neck, we have gold Evo frets, which are harder than standard frets. So stainless steel would be here nickel would be here so the evo frets kind of sit in the middle so they're a long life fret and we move to the top the headstock very very cool gold machine heads and an abalone 30s martin inlay and the neck profile is very very different indeed this neck profile comes from a 1930s om45 deluxe i believe uh, that's in the martin vault so it has a very unique neck profile it's kind of an offset v uh, that kind of moves towards the, the middle of the neck as you go up the barrel. Another excellent feature with the D28 Modern Deluxe is the titanium truss rod. So that gives it a real vintage vibe, you know, weight, uh, the weight of a vintage instrument some, for some reason seems really lightweight. This is a very, very lightweight indeed, and that's all down to that truss rod. Rosewood back and sides, spruce top, mahogany neck. So it's, uh, the ingredients are the same as a uh, regular D28. We also have the herringbone, but it's essentially hot rodded. So what the, the Adirondack bracing will do, it will kind of give you more headroom. So if you think of a, a D28 as a, say a 50 watt, this is like 150 watts. It's very, very loud, very, very dynamic. So let's hear what it sounds like. So there you have it. What I did allude to earlier was the, the liquid metal bridge pins. So what that does, it, it doesn't absorb any energy. It just pushes it right back into the top. So that gets that Adirondack bracing and the VTS top, it gets it all working and sort of pushes it up an extra notch. So you essentially you get between three to five decibels extra out of this than you would a regular acoustic guitar. It's a lot louder, there's a lot more going on so if you want any more information on these products, head over to the Gear for Music website.